What's up amigos, coming into Heimer here today. Today we're gonna do Magnolia from set four. So we got a lot of great support. I'm gonna cover some of the winning image, how it's changed, and also some of the card choices, and also show up some key plays that helps the deck along. So let's get right into it. Next level gaming has the new playmats already out for we have Bruce versus Bastion over here. Really amazing artwork, so I highly recommend. We also have the Vanguard Valentine's one. So if you're into like Angel Feather, for example, this would be perfect as well. And in the future coming out, we'll have something with Zorga versus Seraf Snow. So I'm excited for that one too. I'm gonna actually get that one myself too. So you can check out the affiliated link down in the description below and also get a 10% discount on your next purchase. So with Magnolia with the winning image, we are still doing multi-attack. So for example, with the grade three, we get, get to four attacks as soon as we write to grade three. That's so imperative. But once we get to actually the new grade four, that's when we write it from our hand. And so you can play four copies of this card into your deck so you could draw into it. So you're able to write it on your turn four turn. And so it's just a better version of the grade three Magnolia and it's free. And so that way your back row can actually get plus 5k, they get intercept on the back row too. So you have more shield value in that sense. You could even put your PG in the back and have it as an attacker and then you use it as a PG later on too because it uses, it says the word put and not place. And so that's how that works too. Um, but mostly it's just for like bodies to be able to hit to five to six attacks and it's a great deck and cards that really help with the resource management are over here with Inland Pulse. Inland Pulse is that at the end of the turn, if you've done four battles, this can go into your soul and draw you a new card and that skill alone does so much for the deck. And part of it is because the whole cohesive strategy with Impex over here, it is the promo that everyone's kind of complaining about. <laughs> it is what it is at that point, but if you really enjoy this deck or really like to play this deck, especially for a metagame, it's definitely worth getting in that sense. And so this guy has the back row skill where basically this gets plus 10K. And then if you have three or less regards, all of your regards in the same column cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects. So it has that resistibility for that specific column as long as you have three or less. And that's why Inlet Pulse is such crucial for that because you can commit to a board maybe like four to five regards. These go away at the end of the turn and all of a sudden you have three or less regards just chilling there and Mpix can help protect them in that same column, whatever it, it's in behind from in that sense too. So that's why the synergy is really good in that sense too. And then we got cards with like Panthero and Gaberg. Um, so with Panthero, it's just like, it's able to soul blast and revive another copy of itself from the drop zone. And so this is card that helps you build a field, but then it has the other skill that if you have a Magnolia Vanguard, like just in general, it gets plus 5k for that battle when it attacks. So it's a 14k hitter on its own. If you have this in the back row, it could be a 19k and then any other power up in that sense, you can make some magic numbers, but it's just nice that it can refill your board and at the same time be somewhat of a beat stick that can hit the Vanguard too on top of that. And that way each of your cards on the field can be standalone. You don't have to worry as much as making boosters to hit certain numbers to make them count as much. And we have over here Gabreg over here where it has that Sentinel restriction and it it's oddly worded. So whenever the unit in the same column attacks, you can activate the skill to Soul Blast 1, give this pot on 10k until the end of the turn. And then you choose all your opponent's regards and then basically the guard restriction becomes that. So if they have grade twos and grade ones, it can't guard with that when this unit attacks then. So it's weirdly worded, but that's how it works. <laughs> and so the whole synergy is getting four, five, six attacks. Ideally, you want to take advantage of Magnolia. Plus when you play Central Vanguard Circle, you can get actually superior call card. And ideally you want to have this on grade three turn, that way it goes into the soul. Then when you write with the Elder, you can call back Inlet out and then again further plus in in the sense and reusability of Inlet Pulse too, because it's such a great card too in the sense. So that's really the winning image until your opponent can't guard it anymore or you just you do well with pressure with attacks and and triggers and all that kind of such thing for the right line not much has changed you can do any starter i picked my sp uh officer cadet over here <laughs> uh we also have the ranker train and the Hus dragon so these are very imperative so we are playing orders in this deck too one because rancor chain helps you dig deeper into your deck you can get advantage that way because it lets you draw two cards and then of course you discard an order uh, worst case scenario, you discard two cards, so you filter your hand in that sense too. Uh, you soul blast the, the starter in that sense too, immediately too, so you have a decent size soul still moving forward. But then at that point, you could also empty it out. So again, certain matchups such as like the, the Prison Seraphir Light matchup, 
you may want to empty out your soap before they actually do the pure light so they can prison as much in that sense too so things of that nature where this helps you soul blast initially already in that regard and then hush dragon can recover that order that you discarded for rank train so you don't lose any benefit at all which is key in that sense and that's really what it does it's just help you reuse that order that you discarded for ranker chain and then of course magnolia is because we still need the magnolia name and at the same time it does the synergy in that respect and when you ride the elder too you need to make sure that you have a magnolia in the soul or in the regard circle too so this being in the soul then you don't have to worry having another magnolia copy in the sense to make things happen onto the grade three slash grade fours with the order cards <laughs> section um so we'll start with these bottom ones first for inlet and then of course for elder for elder because you want to see it immediately as possible i know i watched like different fights video he did a really good point where you want to see this so if you mulligan and have this immediately right off the back you're in a good spot in a sense and then of course with the help of draw triggers in this deck too you're able to get the second piece so you can like actually write it again and then you can superior call such as the card inland pulse another time to further abuse and it does have the flagberg skill but it's completely useless in this deck and it's really the skill that i mentioned earlier that it goes into so draw you a card if you did four battles or more it's so imperative in that sense and what's really cool you have an order card over here spiritual body condensation that synergizes well because if you use this to revive it in impulse it gets a plus 5k from it but if you place it on the back row with elder that gives another plus 5k so now you have a 23k attacker in impulse from the back row which is amazing synergy in that respect. So then you can focus your other regards to make a different numbers in that sense. And so we are playing five orders and I've seen people play five or six. It's pretty common between those two numbers in that sense too. I feel like five is good enough for Magnolia and you will have maybe a few games that you don't open with orders. And those are the games that probably do suck. But most of the time you do open with one of them. And if you mulligan even better, so you're guaranteed to see that. And then I've noticed even some of my games where you may have a surplus of orders in your hand that you may not even use. And so that can instantly weaken your defensiveness quality for your hand guardian in a sense too. Uh, and you start discarding them with PGs or maybe like discarding them for like to ride the next line in a sense too, like things of that nature. And so that's why I play five. And the variety of choice, like I like spiritual body condensation because this is a card you could use immediately too if you really want to. But really you want to use it when it's like your turn three or turn four so you're able to abuse better numbers with inlet and some of the key pieces too. And then of course, if you're missing a key piece, it might be like the, the guard restriction guy, Gobreg, or even the Gnosula, or the Empex, or um, Panthero in that sense. And then you can so bless again to get another Panthora. So like you have a lot of access to line of place just with revival cards such as Spiritual Body Condensation, Wild Intelligence, and of course, Gagurgitation as well. They just work differently. And obviously with Wild Intelligence, I really like this card because you can actually mill in the sense too which makes your drop zone quality um, more likely to be better in quality so that way you can revive the key pieces that you want uh, for example there are low ratios that we play of certain cards that maybe you want to see in the drop zone immediately so that way this card helps dig deeper and you can retrieve another unit that you may need and then later on you can use spiritual body condensation or registration or even this card to revive that later unit like a gobrag for example to finish the game in a sense too this uses a counter blast and you realize that you don't need counter blast as much because of the elder the elder is free you may use the counter blast for the grade 3 magnolia and gnosula and that's really it uh, outside of the other order that also uses a counter blast is the regurgitation this basically lets us retire something on your opponent's side you could also retire one of your units but it's ideally your opponent like something's getting annoying get rid of it in a sense more specifically a grade 2 but I can see this card also being removed for maybe a third spiritual body condensation or a third wild intelligence. It's really up to you in that sense. It's just something that I want to try it out. I know even Different Fight was even trying this out too, just to have as a nice to have too. Onto the grade twos. We are playing 12 grade twos. So we are playing four of the Impex, four of the Panther, or three of the Gnosula, and one of the Gabreg. And so Impex is such an imperative card like for this deck. And it's super well needed against the Seraph Pure Light deck too. So you're you're getting basically locked out of your cards too and picks is one of those cards where if they like let's say lock from your hand using either of those great twos that they use you can actually put impex in the prison and then when you superior call it next turn with a soul blast then this guy becomes a resist unit on the board in the sense so you really don't lose out in that sense too so impex can be one of those targets where you can prison from hand and it doesn't hurt you really in that sense too 
Shout out to also Alex from Team Generations. He actually gave me one of the copies too, as well for Impex too. So I appreciate that Amigo for even reaching out and even offering. I, I really appreciate that too. So these were challenging to find, <laughs> especially for a decent price too. And some people can argue about the price right now too. And it's just a whole different argument. I like playing the deck. I like Stokea, so I'm willing to invest. <laughs> I feel like people can put the value with their money in a sense, and it's all fun and games at that point for what they want to do with their own deck too. So uh, Pandero, again, is such a great card because it fills up boards. It has that power up so it can hit over Vanguard's really key unit. This is a cool card that you can use to discard for the right line because later on, then you can revive it and then you can call another Pandero from that sense. So you could bid get to benefit in the sense because it does need to see a Panthero from the drop to even proc. Gnosala is really there to help transfer that power like I mentioned. It's like making your board where each unit counts its own attack. You don't have to have a booster anymore in the sense and then this lets you transfer its power so you stack triggers especially if you have crits or like um, over trigger in the sense. Uh, mainly the over trigger because it is 100 million power in the sense <laughs> so you can transfer that and you can transfer it to another one and then use two counter less in the sense bounce bounce and then finally bounce into a gobrag and that's where he has the sentinel restriction this card i feel like you want to use on your finishing turns there might be maybe the prior turn where you you can apply some pressure in that sense too depending on the matchup you have so i could see the argument of bumping this up to two um so that's respected there's actually a great one that i'm playing that i'm trying out um that was recommended by Kokorin cg uh, tcg and I feel like I may go back into try that out as a, a two two of these guys in that sense too. But it's it, I think this is a really solid lineup. I've seen uh, deck profiles that pretty much have the essence of these cards, and all the other great twos don't do as much anymore, or it's just because of the type of the meta game that we have out of outside of Sarah Pure Light, there are other good matchups that we have to deal with. And I feel like this is a pretty cohesive, re resilient lineup in that sense. We are still playing some great ones, uh, four PGs because they're PGs of course, but this is the one card that I was talk um, talking about earlier. Uh, Kokor and TCG pointed at this out where this is gives the regard in front of it resist in that sense too. But this also counts the Vanguard too. So if you're fighting against the um, Nirvana matchup with the great four where it pings you damage, it has to target your Vanguard. So if you have this behind your Magnolia, they can't ping you in damage. And I was like, wow, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, so if you have a, a meta game that has a pretty enough Nirvanas falling around, or just Dragon Empire in general, uh, this might be worth that. There's other cards I think they even target the Vanguard, so that go against that too. But um, it's really your metagame call in this sense. I'm actually tempted to change this out for the second Gobrag, like I mentioned too, but it's something that I wanted to try out and also point out to the deck profile too, so pretty cool. And again, you could also swap your units in the, in the same roles at the same time too. So if your formation was different from like the grade three turn or the first grade four turn and you want to like change it up to make it a little more optimal, uh, this card helps you with that regard too. On to the remaining triggers. So we're playing the new uh, four draws. These are pretty nice because one, it's 10k shield once your opponent's grade three, uh, once your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater. And sometimes you have those attacks where they literally just ask for 10k shield. And this helps so much with that. So that way you're not dropping 15k shield for those attacks and you can save those up for a bigger attack in that sense. But I also realized too, especially with watching um, different fights profile, is that you want the draw power not only for your pieces as a Stokea deck, but also get to the Elder faster if you don't have it or if you can get to the second copy in case for the next turn five to rewrite in that sense too. So when he mentioned that, that made me even feel like imperative to run draws in this point, especially with the, the nice shield benefit that they added to. And it actually goes a long way. I'm actually very surprised. And then the essence of the uh, over trigger for Stokea, it's like the fifth draw on top of that too. So your, your draw power is pretty consistent now. And with that being said too, it's just that it does everything for you, like a front trigger, a quick trigger, heals, all that kind of stuff, draw two in the sense, and then you got your heals. I picked the, the new ones, they look really cool, so I thought I'd pick them out. And our crits too, so that has that crit pressure too, so that way, when your opponents have four damage, they're still scared to take the Vanguard <laughs> to the face. Uh, we do want to play Alana too, just in case to be able to like put it into soul, so that way we need to soul blast for like spiritual body condensation, or Gabreg, or you know, for future, benefits because this is you know when it bat when it boosts right so you have to do it for the next turn in that sense but it just helps with that setting it up or even like putting it away against like the survive matchup maybe you call it uh, from the prison and then this can kind of sweep away itself too and it can help also make sure you have three or less regards with the impacts too so those are some key plays too some of the things that you want to see as soon as you write to grade three are some of these key cards mainly inland pulse and different fight even pointed this out if you have multiple inland pulses 
then it's more ideal in the sense. So that way you have like a formation like this. And really you can poke units, whether it be regards or even the Vanguard at that point. And so when you have the Vanguard attacking, you do your drive checks, stack it onto the last one, do the counter blast, give it plus 5k and it can attack from the battle. This is 18 plus any triggers. You made four attacks. And because of that, now these three can go and draw you four more, uh, three more cards in that sense. And now that can get you closer to the elder, that can get defensive hand quality. If you do it just right, your hand size is gonna be very healthy, which we appreciate a lot in Stokea in general too. Also real quick, if you don't open up with three inlets, but you do have one or, or at least two in that sense, you can do the same combo play. And then once you get to the Vanguard, you'll just do an Impex instead. That way at this point, when you do the fourth attack, it actually is pretty, it's 23K on its own, which is really appreciated in that sense too. And then at the end of the turn, these two will go into so and draw you two more cards. And now you have an Impex that's just chilling there too. And because you have three or less rear guards, it, it, it protects itself because it counts the whole column in itself. So it counts itself. So it's safe there, even against the Seraph matchup or some other matchups that may retire in that sense, he's good to go. So until your turn four, when you ride the Elder, again, you're able to superior call something. So you wanna do like Inland Pulse over here. And cards that you wanna set up, um, another card, if you do have a second one or a different one, you can have Impex in back as well. And then you have these guys, at, kinda almost doesn't matter where you have them, but just be a little strategic with it. In this example, this should be fine. Um, and keep in mind Gobreg's uh, timing as well. And what I've noticed too is that like, it activates when you attack with this unit, essentially. And if your opponent has great twos, they may want to intercept with that. So that way then they can use great twos to guard with that if they need to. So maybe you want to attack with this inlet pulse first as the first attack. And then this guy can trigger to soul blast one to um, be able to do that. Get power plus 10k in the guard restriction to whatever they have. And then your next weakest attack might be this other inlet. And then depending on what your situation is, if you want to be the safe route, you can poke with 23k in the sense and then your vanguard can attack and then depending on the triggers let's say you open up like triple crit or something you have triple drive you can put it on this guy and get an also that will have the power and the crit pressure and then you can kind of bless as well to give it to gobreg as well and then gobreg will attack with all that power up gain from the Nessala. So as you can see, that's six attacks. And then at the end of the turn, this will go into Soul to draw you more cards. And look at that, you have three or less regards. Keep in mind that these will not be protected because of Impex, it has to be in the same column. But essentially this is usually your final turn. And if they do get retired in the sense, or maybe they get Prism, you can bring them back next turn, depending on the resources that you have or with cards like Spiritual Body Condensation or anything that nature too. And that's the deck profile, amigos. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a pretty straightforward deck, especially now with the new support. It just makes more sense when you see it in action and why the combo pieces work together. Like I said, like Inlet and Impex has a synergy with a lot of the other cards that just help Sokea or at least Magnolia do its thing in the sense, especially since it can struggle in the past sometimes with having enough pieces, the resources or the right cards to even do an effective turn, just like we have had with Aqua Force in the past too. It's similar in that nature too. And I, honestly, there's some room for changes if you have different preferences or different meta games too. Like I mentioned some things that I fought. Uh, you can increase the orders if you want to change up the orders themselves, maybe change up the grade twos or the grade ones. If you do play any grade ones like I did, I played that one uh, Urgela, for example, to just help with that 1K scenario. There's room for improvement in the sense or just changing it up a bit too. And if you like the deck profile, you know, if you find this is some of value, you know, please leave a like. It helps the YouTube algorithm for card fighters like such as yourself to find this video too. And if you know somebody that likes Stokea, Magnolia, feel free to share the video to them as well. And then if you plan to purchase any products through TCG Player, use the affiliate link to help support the channel. And then if you want to level up your gaming, then you can shop with Next Level Gaming's 10% discount link as well at the bottom of the description. They have the play mats. I actually just got my Zorga keychain over here, but I think they're not doing keychains anymore, but I just wanted to show it off. It's actually really nice too. So pretty cool that I got this before, like the decision that they're not doing it anymore, but they still have access to the playmats. And as you can see, uh, really good quality, sharp quality in that sense in that playmat too. And so again, you know, comment down below your guys' thoughts about the deck. How do you like Magnolia? How do you like the promo? Is it really worth the price? In my book, it is if you are a Stokeo fan <laughs> or Magnolia. But if you're not really playing the deck as often or competitively wise, then you may want to just wait to maybe a possible reprint in that sense, hopefully for that. I'm not sure. Nothing has been announced. And then of course, subscribes. And then of course, hit that bell for instant notifications. So that way you get notified for more future content. And to the next one, amigos. See ya. Bye.